Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about uh, one more concept in DBMS that is uh, relationships. So first we'll see what is this relationships and why we required in the DBMS and then we'll see the categories of these relationships. That means how many uh, types of relationships are there. Right? So first, uh, why we required these relationships? So coming to the relational database uh, management system, here the data will be represented in terms of rows and columns and we call them as a tables. Tables. So there will be a multiple tables for a data. So there will, there will be a table 1, there will be a table 2, there will be a table 3, etc. Right? So the complete data will be divided into a different tables. Now, after that, we have to relate these two tables, these different tables, right? So we have to relate, relate these tables, right? From one record to another record. So that will be called as a relationship, relationship. So by using this relationship, one table data will be related to the data available in the another table. And further, for this purpose, we are going to use the two different keys like a primary key primary key foreign key so by using these two keys we'll relate uh, different tables so what about uh, i mean what exactly this primary key what is it meant by this foreign key we'll see in the next session so we'll see the different types of keys in the next session so by using these keys we will relate the different tables right so that we call it as a relationship relationship now we'll see what are the different types of relationships available in our DBMS. The first one, one-to-one -one relationship, one-to-many relationship, many-to-many -many relationship. So there are three types of relationships, one-to-one, one to many sorry one to many and one to sorry many to many so these are the different types of relationships so let us take this one to one relationship one to one relationship so here we are having two different tables okay so first of all see let us consider table one And this one is a table 2. So these are all the records in the table. In the table 1 and in the table 2. Now, if one record, one record, here record means a tuple or we can also call it as an entity, right? Or a row. So one record of table 1 of table 1 is related to is related to only one record one record of table 2 table 2 and vice versa vice versa that means if you consider one record of table 2 that should be related to only one record of table 1 so such type of relationship we call it as a one to one relationship one to one so if you consider one record in table one that should be related to exactly one record in the table two for example consider a person a person details in table one and in table two let it be some passport details passport details you can see one person will be have is related to only one passport number so one per one person will be having only one passport number right similarly one passport will be given to only one person so one passport will be given to not uh, more than one right so this type of relationship this type of relationship we call it as a one-to-one -one. so a person so one person is associated with 
only one passport similarly one passport is given to only one person so one passport will not be given to multiple persons and one person will not get a multiple passports so such type of relationship we call it as a one to one so one record in table one is related to exactly one record in table two similarly one record in table two exactly related to one record in table one this is called a one to one relationship the next one one to many one to many so in this one to many the name itself indicates one record of table one one record of table one should relate to multiple records of table two okay one record of table one should be related to multiple records of table two similarly one record of table two should exactly match with only one record of table one right see don't get confused one record record or row or a tuple or entity whatever it may be one record of table one is related to multiple records of table two that's the first point so one record of table one is related to multiple records of table 2 and one record of table 2 is related to only one record of table 1 that means the vice versa is not possible the vice versa is not possible See, consider there are two tables here. There are two tables. Table two. So, if this table one consists of branch, okay, bank. Consider the banking, okay, banking sector, banking sector. So, one branch, one branch, and multiple accounts, multiple accounts. So, different uh, users, different users will be having different accounts. So there will be different types of accounts, savings account, current account, what etc. etc. Joint accounts. So one branch manages multiple accounts. One branch manages multiple accounts. That means one record of table one is related to multiple records of table two. Okay, one record of table one is related to multiple records of table two. The vice versa is not possible. So multiple accounts, multiple accounts will be managed by a single branch. So one record of table two should be associated with only one record of table one. So that's what we have written here. So one record of table one, that means a branch is related to multiple records of table two. So one branch is managing different accounts, multiple accounts, multiple users. Okay, similarly, one record of table 2, that means one account of table 2 is related to only one record of table 1. So that will be managed by a single branch. It will not be managed by multiple branches. Right? So this type of relationship, we call it as a one to many. One to many. So one record of table 1 related to multiple records of table 2 and one record of table 2 should be related to only one record of table 1. So... The third category, many to many. So let us see. Here the name itself indicates many to many. See.
many to many relationship many to many means one record of table 1 is related to multiple records of table 2 and one record of table 2 is related to multiple records of table 1 okay see one record one record of table 1 of table 1 is related to multiple records of table 2 and vice versa is also possible so one record of table 2 is related to multiple records multiple records of table 1 right so this this type of relationship we call it as a many to many example consider a table consider a table so s1 s2 s3 s4 so this is a table one and coming to the second table write down the second table c1 c2 c3 c4 this is a table two so this is a student table this is a course table course table so here you can observe so student can enroll multiple courses student can enroll multiple courses similarly one course can be uh, i mean enrolled by multiple students one co one course can be enrolled by multiple students right see s1 enrolls c1 c2 c3 c4 similarly s2 enroll c1 c2 c3 c4 s3 c1 c2 c3 c4 s4 c1 c2 c3 c4 right so student 1 can enroll all the four courses similarly student 2 can enroll all the four courses so c1 is enrolled by the students s1 and s2 okay so for example if s1 enrolls the courses c1 c2 c3 c4 s2 enrolls the courses c1 c3 c4 s3 enrolls the courses c3 and c4 s4 enrolls the course c1 now you can observe one record of one table s1 is a one record of one table is related to multiple records of another table that means a course table so multiple records c1 is one record c2 is another record c3 is another record and c4 another record so s1 is related to multiple records right similarly if you observe the vice versa so c1 is related to s1 s2 s4 c2 course 2 is enrolled by s1 and c3 is enrolled by s1 s2 s3 c4 is enrolled by s1 s2 s3 so you can observe the vice versa also one record c1 is one record in table 2 one record is associated or related with multiple records of table 1 s1 is one record s2 is another s4 is another right so this type of relationship this type of relationship we call it as a many to many this type of relationship we call it as a many to many relationship okay so one record of table 1 is related to multiple records of table 2 similarly one record of table 2 related to multiple records of table 1 so these are the three categories of relationships three types of relationships one to one one to many and many to many right so hope you understood this uh, different types of relationships in dbms so hope you understood and if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session 
share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much